Hello everybody, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about AWS multi-tier application design and its best practices. So make sure you're watching the video till the end. Amazon also wants you to know about this multi-tier application architectures where we have got two tiers and three tier architecture. So in two tier architecture, you were having this both tiers combined together client was hitting your business logic the business logic was communicating with the database this used to be known as two tier architecture where all your business logic was built on this server and the whole of your database was available on this server two tier architecture later this tier architecture was converted into three tier models where you divided it into web layer which receives the traffic business logic layer that is known as app layer and the DB layer so it is web layer, web tier, app tier and DB tiers this is how the three layer architecture came into picture now this architectures are you can deploy them on server architecture where you can create a web server so you can put up an you know you can have bundle of web servers sitting behind the load balancer which was being referenced from the users sitting from on the network so this is your layer which is receiving the traffic from the users later you have got another layer with another load balancer which was basically having your application servers the traffic from these web servers so these are the EC2 instances so from there the traffic was forwarded to the load balancer again where your app server 1 and app server 2 are communicating with your database server for doing the task this database server this is having active and standby setup in RDS being backed up by AWS backup service all these setup can be created so you can have servers at each layer at web layer you are having EC2 instances at app layer you are having EC2 instances at DB layer you are having EC2 instances you can go serverless onto this so suppose say on the web layer you can use Amazon API gateway serverless no server to manage on app layer you can go for lambda or Amazon Fargate or app runner for running your business logic or your slide only says this lambda but you know Fargate and app runner can also be used which we will study about later these are something related to the new syllabus of Amazon and then I think we have studied about it in containerization and then on the DB layer again you can go serverless if you use DynamoDB so the whole three tiers can go serverless if you want with Amazon API Lambda and DynamoDB we have studied all these services before VPC also we understood we know VPC in multi-tier the same diagram I have explained you just a few minutes before where the client is receiving the request or uh, sending the request to this front-end load balancer which is the web end it is forwarding the traffic to another load balancer which is internal which is app end which is communicating with the master DB if this fails then the standby DB will take the charge this we have already seen which can be replaced like this the web could be API the app could be lambda and the database could be DynamoDB like this you can make it completely serverless in Amazon 
that's possible so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts then we have something really special for you we have our free class on amazon aws solution architect certification for beginners under this free class you'll be learning about why and who should learn aws cloud services deployment models and aws services as well and the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs, job opportunities, along with Docker and Kubernetes in AWS and amazing, amazing stuff. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash AWS SA02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now, select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes save my seat and after that you'll be seeing this kind of page you just have to save this link on the extreme right add it to your calendars and i'll see you in the free class till then keep learning